also, as we turn 40, I think it's important to consider that we were the first people doing that, and Sheila's idea to open the Oaks was unique and unusual. There were just a couple of other properties in North America that were doing something similar, and to still be family owned and operated is amazing. So this month is my 25 year anniversary of being here at the Oaks, and um, it's been wonderful. My relationship with Dawn and Sheila has been great. When, they, when I first came on, they told me this was like a family, and I have to say that was really true. This is like a family. I think that whatever benefit that the Oaks has for the guests is really, really great, but what it has for the team, the fitness team, is also fantastic. I don't think that I would be in the physical shape that I'm in now, I'm almost 79 years old, uh, if it hadn't been for the Oaks and for my time here, and I hope I can be here till I'm 100. Part of the success of the Oaks um, in this 40-year history, coming from Don and Sheila and trickling down, certainly part of my philosophy, is that we actually believe in our product. This is something that we feel really passionate about, is that we know that the Oaks has changed people's lives. It's changed their health profile. It's changed how they feel about themselves and the potential and the hope that they have for having a healthier, happier future. So um, it's, it's huge. And the communal aspect of the Oaks it's pervasive, it's tangible. Uh, people really seem to find family here and to feel like they have family here. People definitely develop friendships here because a lot of women come alone. It's a, you know, it's a kind of place where that's completely comfortable. You can join in to discussions with people, you can join people at meals. And then there are groups that have met at Mother Daughter. You know, in September we have a big group that comes back and it was mothers and daughters, and then it was grandmothers and mothers and daughters, and I think we've even had a grand, great grandmother, and so the, it generationally, it's just gone on. It's just the joy of it, in all honesty, and I'm very familiar with it. There are a lot of other spas, but this one is joyful. It, it's just been wonderful. I've met a lot of very good friends here. We come at the same time, meet up. It's like meeting family. I do think Sheila's personal ethos has re really created this environment. I think overall it's her happiness too and her personality that comes out. So Sheila Clough, Sheila is the Pied Piper and so she has this effect. Um, I just remember when I came here I thought it was just so interesting to see her walk into a room, sit at a table of guests and just how everybody, the attention instantly went on her. People wanted to know what she had to say. When I first met Sheila, it was really hard to believe Sheila. She was this ball of energy and she was just going all the time and truly the most amazing woman because she inspired me to do things, but maybe more so because I saw how she inspired other people, particularly women. Inspired them to take care of their health, inspired them to follow their career goals, um, to prioritize themselves in their own life. And so she was a, a great role model for me. And to this very day, when I'm in an awkward situation, I think, what would Sheila do? And there's always a push up in the answer. Talk about amazing. Here was this woman that was came up to my shoulders that just put us to shame when it came to exercise and, and enthusiasm. So she made everybody enthusiastic about what she did, her exercise, her lifestyle. She's just so motivational, very motivational and always up and walking quickly all the time and smiling and very much a PR woman. Well, I think she's definitely viewed as you know, a fitness guru for to be doing what she's been doing for as long as she's been doing it and people are always interested have always been interested in hearing her story and in hearing her uh, ideas and just the her own regimen that she has stayed with for so long so she's definitely an exceptional person my name is Sheila Clough and I'm the founder of the Oaks at Ojai when I started the company in 1959 exercise was a punishment and I changed that to 
the joy of aerobics and working to music and I changed the perception of fitness. Exercise today is a joy. And I've kept that philosophy for years and years, 40 years plus, and uh, I get blamed for great things happening in people's lives, and that's a joy to me. One of the things that Sheila does for the class is that she gives Sheila tips. Sheila's snacks on fitness. The little tips. Balance on one leg. You stand on one foot. Standing on one foot. Standing on one foot. Standing on one foot. Squeezing your butt together or pretending you have a hundred dollar bill back there. That is a Sheila tip. <sighs> Sheila does permeate. Yep. It just carries with you over the years and it's it, it really all, all Sheila. <laughs> Sheila had these great ideas and would come up with awesome things to do, but it was Don that had to fit it all together behind the scenes. And so from a business perspective or a management perspective, Don taught me all the details about that. And one of my favorite stories here was always in the guest comments when a guest would say, in answer to the question, did any of our staff make your trip more enjoyable and oftentimes they would say Don the hike guy. <laughs> who's, who's Hiker Don and what did you do? Well, Hiker Don is me and, um, and I started to really fall in love with these mountains and, um, and so I was going out on my own and then some of the guests heard about it and uh, before long I had a following and uh, there's just beautiful trails. You can really see it in their eyes, just glowing. Look, I'm, I'm way up here. <laughs> uh, There's one lady that she said, it's three months and I need to get my oaks fixed and, and uh, when can I be assured that you'll be there? <laughs> so They didn't even know that Don was Don Clough, who is an owner of the oaks. So they've always been very participatory and interested in everyone's well-being. Between the two of them, Sheila showing me motivational, positive attitude philosophies. Don showing me the nuts and bolts behind the scene. What a great pair. And I really appreciate the fact that Don and Sheila over the years um, have given us the freedom there that they haven't overly defined uh, what we're to do when we go teach a class. And so it does give these artists, teachers are artists, and so it gives them the freedom to, to create their craft and present their best to, to students every time around. With 40 amazing years in the books, it's so exciting to think about the next 40 years that we have to build and grow and to shape ourselves for all the generations to come and all the new guests that we have yet to meet.